Hey, what it do, man? It's your boy, Keith's on the track here with uh, Real Live Street Stars for Trust Producer Season 2. We here with LGP Studios with my boy Grip. You know what I'm saying? This season, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we bought my boy Bud Beast on live, you know what I'm saying? So let's go on and run it. Show y'all boy how our producers kick up. What's up, baby? What's up, man? You ready? I'm being ready, man. Let's get it. Hey, man, y'all know what's going on. Trust Your Producer Season 2. I'm your boy, Bud B. I'm in here with Legendary Little Grip. You know what I'm saying? We here at LGP Studios. I'm going to let him introduce himself, and then we're going to cook up and get some major shit going for y'all. Okay, okay. I'm Little Grip, producer engineer from Dallas, Texas. Your favorite trapper, favorite engineer. Oh, man, I produce for... Trap Boy, Freddy, I produce for Go Yeah Yo, I produce for Trey Ward, and many others, man. So many I just can't name. I don't want to forget nobody. Um, I worked on the January 1st record uh, with Young Thug and uh, Trap Boy Freddy. It did pretty good. Did the Death on Me remix with Eardrum Studio. So, uh, man, we, we've been getting that work. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, man. Let the people know what system you work on, what we gonna be working with today. You know what I'm saying? As far as what we cooking up on today, man. Let the people know we working with. Today, we are gonna use Logic Pro X. That's what we working on today, man. For a lot of y'all, they use Fruity Loops. You know what I'm saying? Now, most of these shows, we've had Fruity Loops, we gonna do Logic today, man. It's something different, man. Pay attention. For sure. Especially for the ones who don't know. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to use it, you know what I mean? He's going to show you today. I'm going to show you a little something today. What's probably one of the biggest names you probably engineered for? Biggest name, Young Thug, maybe, Lil Boosty. What, what, what do you see prospering out of everything that you do as Man, a producer, uh, engineer? With this music, we make these songs to make an impact on people. Of course, we're doing it to all provide for our families, but right. this music we make impact people so that's the end game to build a legacy to where this music still lasts and if people love it it touch them they they can they can live with it for the rest of their life is that, is that you know it might be get them through something you know hey, but maybe we can help somebody on this journey you know do it for the love is gonna do it for you man you dig what i'm saying we're gonna cook up some major shit man it's gonna get it started man you dig what i'm saying come on man y'all know what's up working Logic Pro X today. That's what I normally like to work in. That's what, I, that's what I've been used to for the past few years. Um, so let's pull up this track I got. It's an R&B track. Um, and I went for an LMA type feel. You know, um, I heard a couple songs that LMA had and it kind of inspired me. So I started with some chords. I pulled up a guitar from Omnisphere and I just play with it and I found these chords right here. Alright, so after I got those chords laid down, I wanted to layer that up a little bit um, and get a bigger sound. So I added another set of guitars from Omnisphere and doubled up to sound like this. So they just made it a little more thicker. Um, so I was being a little extra and I decided I was gonna add a couple more sounds and layer it up. So I added an electric piano and a pad and it come out to sound like this. got it nice and thick so I'm like alright let's get some rhythm going so I went and found a sample in the homie Lone Star's kit shout out to Lone Star I grabbed a little loop out of his kit <laughs> Alright, 
after I got the rhythm going with it, with the chords now, I wanted to add some bass to, you know, set the foundation for it. So I grabbed another bass from Omnisphere, that's my favorite plug-in. And I just followed the chord structure and I laid down the bass line to go like this. So we got the chords, we got the bass, we got a little rhythm going. So I added a couple more drums, some kicks, and hi-hats. I'll let you hear the hi-hats I laid down. See, sometimes you want to lay your hi-hats down in layers. Sometimes you want to do a slower hi-hat, and sometimes you want to speed it up and maybe grab a different hi-hat to do some faster uh, rhythm. So I had three hi-hats. One is a faster one, one is like a screwed hi-hat. Put it together, they sound like this. So I'm going to add the percussions I had. I'm going to add the bass. that going let's add the kick and the kick I just followed the bass line and the rhythm of the percussion and just find the hardest one Basically, that's the meat of the beat right there. You have your chords, you have your bass, your kicks, and your drum line, your snares and hi-hats. So from there, you know, you start to break it down. You want to work on your intro and outro. So I decided that I wanted to switch the intro up and get a little more rhythm going. And so I did a technique called sidechain gating. And with that, I used a kick drum, which I'm going to show you right here. And I use this kick drum as a trigger, and I'm going to use it to trigger my chords, and I'm going to make it cut my chords off when I tell it to. So the kick drum, I just laid down in the rhythm of my chords. So basically, I'm using that as a trigger, and once I side chain it to my chords with a gate, you can do it with a gate. And it gives a rhythm for the chords that goes like this. So we got the longer chords that go. And now in the intro, we got these shorter chords with a rhythm. So, as I made the intro, I needed a way to transition into the chorus, so when the beat dropped. So, I wanted to add some little drum fills. So, I took three different drum fills that I found in just a regular sound pack, and I chopped them up, and I arranged them to make a little drum feel like this. So, that's going to be my transition going into the chorus. So let me play the intro for you, and then it's going to transition into the hook and drop. layer that guitar so building some excitement and anticipation for the chord to drop so basically 
with the structure that I built for the hook, I just broke it down and made the intro. That's all that was, and I added a drum feel to transition over into that, so it dropped. And from there, I just kind of rearranged some things to make a verse. And I believe I added a piano. The piano is the only other extra instrument I added. And I'll let you hear the piano. beat only thing else left to drop my tag grip gonna give it to him so in a nutshell that's how we put it together just step by step all right and that's how we get down on logic pro x you've been rocking with little grip your favorite trapper favorite engineer yeah i appreciate real life street stars keys on the track and boy beats coming to hang with your boy on trust your producer season two make sure you trust your producer uh, if you want to holler at me for beats, engineering, mixing, mastering, consultations, whatever, uh, get at me on Instagram, at Lil Grip, or get at me on my website, lilgrip.com. Uh, follow me, leave me a message, I'll hit you back, I'll follow you back. Let's get this work.